Hello Apache, it is Andy from Apache Village here with a fun activity you can do that celebrates Passover. Passover's coming and one of the elements of our Seder plate is the salt water. It represents the tears of our ancestors for all the afflictions that they um, were put upon, uh, or were put upon them I should say. Um, and so to represent our salt water today, we're gonna play a quick game of will it sink or will it float? This is a great way to talk to your kids about buoyancy, water density, different things like that. Water density is the weight of the water. When we add salt to water, the weight of the water increases. And things that previously might have sunk, such as a toy car, right to the bottom of the cup, won't sink with enough salt, with enough density in the water, um, this car can float. And it's a really fun science experiment to show your kids. Um, some other things that I brought here, just for example, I brought a little toy pepper. I brought some foam letters. I brought a little garbage man who's kind of heavy. Um, and I bought a, brought a little foam ball. So to give different examples for the kids, let them try them in the water without the salt, see what floats, see what doesn't. Um, and then add some salt. I don't really need the spoon. Just add some salt. We're gonna stir it up. And then you can do that same test again. And you can see, did it sink? Did it float? Do you need to add more salt? Does the water need to be denser for something to float? So let's try our car again and see what happens. Nope, not dense enough. So we'll just keep adding salt until the car starts to float and we'll see when that happens. And um, it'll be a nice lesson for the kids. So we'll add a lot of salt, we'll see what happens. I might have to dissolve it a little bit. Just a little tip for you parents while I dissolve the salt. This is an iced teaspoon, really great for science projects and for making chocolate milk. Just saying, throwing that out there. Okay, that water looks pretty cloudy, which means the salt content is high. For anyone who's ever traveled to Israel, you may have been to the Dead Sea, which is the lowest point on earth. And that has such a high salt content that anyone who goes in it or any object, they always float. Even you could go in there and read a paper and you will float. Um, that salt is created from the water constantly hitting the rocks and dissolving um, the, the salt sediment that is on the rocks. Okay, so I don't have enough salt quite yet, but you get the picture of what would happen. We'll try our little army man. Oh, there he goes, he's floating a little. Okay, good job. I wish you a hug. Pesach Sameach, a happy Passover to your family from mine. Um, may this be a holiday of reflection and enjoyment and some yummy, yummy matzah food. Have a great one.